Whoops. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Nathan, Peterson, hey, Lori, Myrna, Jeffrey, Jackie, woohoo, what's up, Dana Grace? I'm hanging in there. Hey, Carrie. Hello, Miss Goodwin. Don't know your first name. I'm assuming it starts with a J. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Cheryl Ross. Hey, Cam. Here I am. <laughs> Hi, Midge. Hi, Chrissy. Jan. Okay. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Ispy Queens. Hello. Hi, Linda. How's everybody doing? Oh, you had a cold? Oh, I know. And you know what? Summer colds are the worst. They really are. Hey, Barb. You had, <laughs> hi, Sharon. <laughs> hi, Deanna. You were having withdrawals. Well, I was having withdrawals too. I missed hanging out with you guys. I'm doing really good, Helen. I have like no pain right now. I'm sure that will all come once I start therapy, but um, I feel really, really good. Oh, it's in the 90s there. Yeah, it's like 80, I think 80 here today. Your birthday was the 21st, Nathan. Well, happy birthday. Mine was the 20th. How funny is that? Happy belated. Hi, Gabrielle. Where the heck are you going, Gabby? <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Pamela. My Pamela Nugget. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I missed you guys last Saturday. Although I did an awful lot of sleeping, um, I've just been... Pfft. Hey, Pat. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of birthdays in July, I have come to find out. Pama Bama, that's right. Pamma Bam is in the house. I tried to get something at your last sale, Pamela, and I just was not quick enough. I had, it was a terrible, terrible lag. Oh. Hey, Cindy, what's up, girl? Yeah, it's, you know, the worst part is wearing this dumb sling. I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. Oh, I don't even remember. I don't remember now. There was a few things that I tried for, and I just got beat out. It was like there was 6,000 people ahead of me. <laughs> um. Crafty Jackie, my girl, is going to write down what everybody purchases and then she's going to take a screenshot of it and send it to me so that I know who bought what. So, yeah, I, I, I really am. The only, I got to tell you guys, the surgery itself was a piece of cake because um, I really didn't have any pain. But... The, I don't know what what you want to call it, the anesthesia. When I came out of the anesthesia, oh my goodness. I, I was, um, yes, I do, Peterson. If you would like to do that, that would be awesome. Um, I, the last time that I had a major surgery, 
was in 2005. And I never remember having a problem with anesthesia, you know? But I was like, I, I was like a crazy person. <laughs> I, oh, let me, I thought you, you have a wrench. Okay. You have a wrench now. Yes, well, I was so sick to my stomach, but I was like, almost like I was having anxiety attacks or something. Like, I, hi, Annette. I couldn't, I could not sit still. I was up and down and crying and I was just out of control. I was like, what the hell is going on? It was horrible. Horrible. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know what the hell that was, but I, I actually made them keep me overnight because I was afraid. I said, I can't go home like this, you know? Yeah, so I stayed overnight. <laughs> Hi, Tiger, what's up? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I like I said, that was the weirdest crap ever. Oh, I'm not thin, trust me. Oh no. I haven't I lost three pounds of the I was 158 pounds when I went in for surgery. I'm like 154 now. <laughs> so, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Hey, Beth, Carolina princess, you're done eating your soup? All right. Well, that's awesome. No, I I told my daughter, I, I was so crazy out of it from the anesthesia. Like, I couldn't even get dressed. I said, I I told my daughter, I can't, I can't, I, I don't think it's good for me to go home. You know, so I made them keep me. But yeah, it was some crazy cr craziness. I don't like that at all. Like I felt totally out of control of myself. I'm like, what in the world? Hello, Irene. But anyways, it's done. It's I'm I'm going Wednesday to get the stitches out. Hey, Joanne, how are you, sweetheart? Hi, Gigi. Thank you. Yes, hit the thumbs up for me, guys. Cindy Neal, hello. Thank you for the beautiful card. Thank you so much to everyone that sent me cards and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Sue Golombeski. Yes, there's 49 thumbs up and 107 people in here. Hi, Mary. Who else? I got to make, I'm going to make, um, I got to make some more moderators. Um, hi, Janet. How are you? Pamela Blanchard. Pamela, I'm going to make you a moderator, okay? I'm not saying you have to stay the whole sale or anything, but... Yeah, I did not like that at all. At all. I felt like I was losing my mind. Aw, uh, thanks, Black Dog Vintage. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just can't wait to, to get back to normal. You know? All right, cool. We got lots of helpers today. No? Okay, good. You know what? I've been moving, I mean, not overly, but I mean, I've been, my hand, I can move really good. You know, I'm, you know, I think I'm going to do okay. You crashed my chat? No, you didn't, Mike. <laughs> you love anesthesia? Oh my God, I don't like it. You are talking like a pirate? What the hell did I miss? Hi, Lynn Doughty. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Okay, so let me just fill everybody in today. Um, this is pretty much um, all smalls today um, because as you know, I, I can't really package stuff very well. So my aunt is coming over tomorrow to pack up all my, uh, my items. And I really didn't want to overwhelm her with any like really large items. Um, I only have um, really one large item today. Um, I do have offer ups. Yeah, me too. <laughs> my daughter's working um, at her other job today or else she was going to come and help me, but she's working. So, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, so what I decided to do, um, as far as offer ups, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, limit the time on the offer ups just so that I'm not run into, running into other people's um, live sale times. So I'm going to just time the offer ups for a minute and 30 seconds, and then that's it. Uh, I, th I just think it works better that way, and it's quicker. And, you know, I don't want to be here till 6.30 like I was the last couple sales. <laughs> um so it just, I just think it's, it's easier and it's more, uh, time efficient. So that's what I'm going to do. My son did my hair for me today, guys. <laughs> he, he brushed my hair back and threw it in a ponytail for me because of the hot flashes. I can't stand the hair on my neck. So, um, he didn't do too bad. <laughs> He said, well, I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise nothing. <laughs> D does not. Okay, I don't know. What was that? Hi, Tammy. <laughs> You're not late. I'm still yapping my brains out. Hi, Jules. Hi, Hollyberry Treasures. Um... <laughs> His name's Tyler, Pat. <laughs> no, I don't do just in case. I just call it and that's it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what, Pam? You always think of that stuff after the fact, you know? Yes. Hi, Leanne. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, I'm all, um, right. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, so let me just tell you, I do have, um, I have some brooches today. I have four, um, brooches. I do have, um, I have a beautiful canister set. It's gorgeous. That's the only large item of the day. Hi, Lynn Hampton. Hey, Zen Zord. How's it going? Um, I have, a, like I said, a lot of smalls. So, and you know, my stitches... <laughs> They keep poking through my shirt. <laughs> it drives me crazy, and they're getting itchy. <laughs> yeah, they're getting itchy now. Yeah. But uh, anyways... <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? She's an eBay seller, so she knows how to package. That's why I asked her if she would help me. So I know she'll be she'll be good. Yes, they're healing. I'm getting them out on Wednesday, Tammy. So, um, well, hey, let's get started, guys. Let's get started. Jackie, are you ready? Peterson, are you ready? Are all my moderators ready? 
All right. I need more thumbs up, though. 69 thumbs up and only 127 thumbs up. Tiger's ready. All right. Jackie's ready. All right. Okay, so as I said, it is a Smalls sale. So let's start off with this gorgeous, um, this is a flashed on cranberry etched little bud vase. It is so, so pretty. And this little guy measures four and a half inches tall. And this is $10. And it is number 34. Number 34, $10. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> All right. All right. No takers on that little bud vase. We'll put it aside and I'll we'll visit it again at another time. Hi, Yvonne. Hello. How are you? <laughs> All right. Next up is this vintage ink bottle. Hello, Sean. Blue ink bottle. You could see at the time it was 10 cents. Hi, Lorraine. How are you? Um, let me take the sticker off the bottom and I can show you the bottom if I could get it off. It says, oh, it's only got like some numbers or something on the bottom. Really hard to make it out. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Um, the lid does come off very easily. And of course, it's all dried out. Okay, so this little bottle of ink is $9, and it's number 15. $9, number 15. Got... <sighs> All right. Nobody for that one. Okie dokie. Let's see. I have a beautiful set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, I know, right? I'm going to do a lot of linens, I think, next week. We'll see how we'll see how this goes, and then I'm actually, um, guys, is it Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday the twenty seventh. I am having a pop up coffee mug sale. Um, Tuesday at four o'clock Eastern. So, just wanted everybody to be aware of that. Hi, Leona. Oh, that's your weakness? <laughs> All right. So I have these gorgeous salt and pepper shakers. These are just beautiful. Uh, they didn't have corks, so I put corks in them. And... There's no markings on them either, so I don't know who makes them. But you will get the pair of them for $12. They're in excellent condition, no cracks, no chips. $12, number seven. $12, number seven. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I see Joanne Baber for those. All right. You got that, Miss Jackie? All right. Okay, next I have, this is a really, really cool wine stopper. It's like a Milli Fiore. Look at this wine stopper, cobalt blue and Milli Fiore decorative top. And then this is what that looks like. And this is the other side. I think this is so darn cool. Uh, I almost was going to keep it as a, a cork for one of my cobalt blue bottles. But then I said, eh. Um, I've done that. I've done that, Carrie. <laughs> um, so this, you know what? I forgot to put a sticker on that one. Excuse me, Soph. Can I have my paper? Um, that one is... Let me see if I can find it. Huh. Well, well, I must have forgot to uh, to do that one. Okay, so I'll just make a number for it. So this is going to be, I could have sworn. That I did this. Okay, anyways, this is going to be $12.00. And it is going to be number 56, $12, number 56 for the Millie Fiore wine bottle stopper. All right, let me write this down. See, I can write. Um, I see Myrna Spratt. Yes. Jackie, I can write. You don't have to do it, Jackie. I can write. I got it. Um, and Joanne Baber got the salt and pepper shakers, which were number uh, seven. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, yes, I did have it. <laughs> it fell off. I knew I wrote it. Okay, so that went to Myrna. Let me just cross that out. I knew I marked it. I found the sticker laying on the table. What the heck? All right. Next, I have this beautiful little trinket dish. Num someone wanted number 12. Um, I didn't do a number 12 yet. Um, the only one I did that nobody bought was number 34, and that was the, um, that was the little cranberry vase. That's okay. 
that's all right. No worries. Okay. Um, there is this beautiful trinket dish. It's by James Kent Limited. Um, and it is called Lavender Lady. I'm trying to hold it so you could see it better. Um, okay. This beautiful little trinket, it has no cracks, no chips. Um, I don't see any crazing except on the under, you know, on the back. This is going to be $10, number 10. $10, number 10. Linda W. Linda, have you um have you registered with me before? Okay, all right. So, um, is your information under Linda W so that I know what I'm looking for? I just want to make sure. Hi, Connie. All right. Lynn. Okay, let me write down Honey Rose 40 as well. Okay, thank you, honey. Thank you very much. Okay, next up I have this adorable little, um, this is like a Springer Spaniel um, figurine. I'm feeling really good, Tammy. Thank you. He is in perfect condition. There's no cracks, no chips at all. This is a beautiful figurine. Um, he measures... Oh, he's like about five and a quarter inches tall. <laughs> Diagonally, <laughs> and this guy is ten dollars, number eight. Ten dollars, number eight. He's adorable. All right, I see. Who do I see? I see Jeffrey Ross. I got you, Jeffrey. Thank you, sir. Jeffrey Ross. All right. Okay, guys. I have a, a little item from the 1970s. We have this awesome set of Tupperware coasters. These are in like really great condition other than, um, you know, I don't know if this is, if this is like, I think this is kind of like discolored. I think at one time it was white like the bottom, <laughs> but now it is like um, a yellowish color. But um, all the coasters are here and they're all in great condition. They're all in fantastic condition. There are six of them and the little carrier. And these are going to be $12, number two. $12, number two for the Tupperware coasters. Ugh. 
I see Jeffrey Ross, I believe. I'm going to say who I see, and then you guys just let me know if I'm correct. Okay. Thank you, Peterson. Jeffrey. Those coasters are cooler than all get out. Hi, Pat. How are you? I didn't know Poodle was here. Hey, Poodle. Yes, he does. <laughs> all right. I have a really, really cool set of uh, salt and pepper shakers. We have these chef, I'm going to show you a close up one at a time. These little chef salt and pepper shakers. Got the holes on the back of his neck. And then there's this one. And he's got the three holes on the back of his neck. And these are made by that company CIC from China. Um, these are really um, nice size salt and pepper shakers. They're like six inches tall. No, I'm sorry. They're five and a half inches tall. So... Um, they're a very good size. So you'll get uh, the set of salt and pepper shakers for $14, and they are number 52. $14, number 52. These guys are awesome. Cheryl Hoskins. All right, Cheryl. I got you for those. So the things that are selling, I'm going to put back over here on the table. Let's put these over here. All right. All right. Cheryl Haskins for the... Chef Salt and Peppers. All right. Okay. Uh, in keeping with the chef motif, this guy is really cool. And he's made by, he's from 2003. And he's made by the Boston Warehouse Trading Corporation. And it is this little chef. Um, I'm assuming it's an olive oil um, container. Uh, but you could use it for vinegar too if you wanted to. He is absolutely adorable. <laughs> and this guy, I'll tell you how tall he is. He is uh, like six inches tall, including his little pourer. He's $12 at number 54. $12 number 54. <laughs> he is too cute. Linda W. You got it, Linda. Thank you so much. He is adorable. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have a really pretty very pretty set of crystal um, taper candle holders. They're made by Gorham. Uh, heavy cut crystal, Slo Slovenia, Slovenia. And they look like this.
They are really, really pretty. No cracks, no chips. They are three inches tall. And the bases are about two and three quarter inches in diameter. And these beautiful uh, candle holders are going to be $12, number 53. $12, number 53. Oh, really, uh, Tiger? Yeah, these are beautiful. They really are. Uh, I, I especially like this centerpiece. Really pretty. Oh, really, Poodle? Yeah, these would look really pretty, like, with uh, red or green candles, you know, at Christmas time. All right. Nobody wants those. I put them over there. All right. Uh, it is time for an offer up. Well, I'm going to do one more. No, no, no. You're not climbing on my paper. Thank you very much. Sophie thinks she's going to come lay on my paper. Okay. I'm going to do one more regular item, and then we are going to do an offer up. Um, if anybody does not like clowns, then close your eyeballs. <laughs> I have, um, it's a beautiful set of three clown figurines. Um, they don't have a maker on them, so I have no idea who makes them. But we have a set of three. So we have this guy with a little beer belly. <laughs> he's just hanging out. Looks like he's scratching his belly or holding on to his jacket. Then we have this guy with his umbrella. <laughs> and then we have this guy and his top coat. Look how cute. I know, aren't they? And they're they're bisque. They're not um they're bisque. They're not highly glazed. They're really pretty. Um, so you get the set of these, the set of three. Unfortunately, I really can't hold all three. I can try. Oh, let me just give you measurements. They are all approximately uh, six to six and a quarter inches tall. So you will get the set of three of these little clown guys for $18, number 55. $18, number 55 for the set of three. Oh, Cheryl. <laughs> I got you, Cheryl. You got it. I didn't know you liked clowns. You didn't know either, huh? <laughs> All right, Cheryl. Okay. Uh, so, ah, sorry about that. <laughs> I went to grab this and I grabbed my, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, all right. So, we are going to be doing an offer up. Yeah, we're supposed to get thunderstorms here today, Cheryl, too. So I'm sure it's just a matter of time before it shows up here. Um, it's getting kind of dark out now, so 
We shall see. Um, so I have, um, we're going to start, uh, we're going to start this item at $12. Um, and you will have one minute and 30 seconds to put in your offers. And, um, if somebody, uh, let me do... Can somebody time this for me? A minute and 30 seconds? It is this beautiful little deer powder jar. Now, the only thing that's wrong with it is it's missing the tip of its little nose. There is no, um, there's no little um, nose sticking out there. That's the only issue. It even still has a powder puff inside. Here's the bottom. And I believe this is, uh, somebody told me who made this. It's not Indiana Glass. Uh, who the heck was it? Jeanette? Maybe it was Jeanette Glass? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but... Oh, Jeanette. Okay. So, anyways, um, other than his little teeny nose um, being gone, the rest of him is in fantastic condition. So, if you are interested, you can put your offers in. Does anybody have a timer going or should I do a timer? Ooh, these are itching. Okay, Barb JM is at 14. Okay, there's 25 seconds left. Cindy is at 15. Okay. Hey, Christy. <laughs> when did you sneak in? Okay, so there is a stop. So who is above the stop with the highest offer for this adorable little deer? I'll do the time. That's okay. That's all right. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll do the timer on my, uh, I'll have my A-L-E-X-A -E do the timer. Okay, guys? And then you just have to put that in, as soon as I tell her to go, you guys can put start in the chat. Okay? How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay, so Cindy's thrifting again, I believe. Gets it for $15. Congratulations, Cindy. Thank you so much. And uh, that was number 39, Cindy. Number 39. $15 to Cindy. Cindy. All right, there we go. All right, let's do a brooch. All right, I have a gorgeous Weiss brooch. It is marked right on the back. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that. But it is this beautiful, uh, like a, it's a ruby red and a fuchsia pink stones. It is just beautiful. And it is, 
one and a half inches square. One and a half inches square. But you could wear it on the diagonal, I think, if you want. That's the way you're supposed to wear it, is on the diagonal. It has that, uh, you know, you see the clasp there. I forgot what type of clasp it's called. Um, let me just rehook this so I don't stab myself. Um, Elizabeth, um, one of the moderators will put it in the, the chat to tell you how to, um, how to register. One of the people with the blue wrenches. There you go. Tippy Winks Vintage has put it in there for you. Okay, so this gorgeous brooch is $20 and it's number 47. $20, number 47, for the Weiss brooch. Hi, Belinda. When did you sneak in? <laughs> All right. I see Belinda Carroll. All right. Me and, me and Peterson coincide. All right, Belinda. Thanks, Belinda. All right, let me set this over here. All right. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. I'm 120 short on my thumbs ups, guys. Your jewelry senses were tingling. <laughs> Uh-oh, I have to refill my pot. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I got it. Hey, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Ooh-wee. Yes, thumbs up are free. Free is good. Oh. oh, no, 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 don't overflow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It did not. That's always a plus. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Virginia. Pardon me. I have to blow my schnazzola, guys. <laughs> mm. Ugh, I'm so sick of this nose running. Okay, there we go. Hey, Cricket, how are you? I'm doing really good. All right. Okay, so, ow. I think I did that when I was trying to fill my pop. Okay. Next up, I have this beautiful, um, this is almost, this reminds me of a piece of tarnished silver. However, it is glass. It is the coolest thing ever. It is glass, and it is just this beautiful bowl. Yes, it is glass. Isn't that neat? Um, it's not marked on the bottom. The bottom is actually white. But I just thought this was so stinking cool. It looks like a piece of tarnished silver. Um, it's got a little chip on the inside there. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. 
Um, but that's all I see as far as um, any uh, damage, is just that tiny little chip. And it measures six inches long and three and a half inches wide. It's $12 and it's number 44. $12, number 44. Hi, Terry. Oh, Poodle. <laughs> you got it there, Miss Poodle. <laughs> All right, Poodle. Poodle gets 44. All right, let's put this over here. All right. Next up, I have this set of um, they are Gay Fad Painted Cruets, Oil and Vinegar. And, I mean, they're really in fantastic condition. Uh, they don't have any chips anywhere. I checked them thoroughly. Um, they're made by Hazel Atlas. You can see, maybe, you can see the H-A on the bottom there, I know it's hard to see, but they're Hazel Atlas with the Gay Fad um, painted uh, fruit. And the set of these is $14 for the set, number 43. $14 for the set of two, number 43. And they measure they're six inches tall. Six inches tall if anybody's interested. book. How are you? All right. Um, let's see. I have a gorgeous, um, little vase. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. So, very simple, but very elegant. Um, it's just gorgeous. There's no markings on the bottom. Um, it does, it's not really matte though, Peterson. It does have, it does have a shine to it, but it's not super shiny. Um, it measures five, or excuse me, four and a half inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. It is beautiful. Hello. And um, this is going to be $12, number 12. $12, number Missed the chair. Okay, Pamela Hammett for number 12. Got you there, Miss Pamela. Hi, Mama J. How you doing? Thank you, Pamela. All right, <clears throat> I don't know if um, Dana is still here, but I know she has bulldogs, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, and I did get this. This is really cool. This is a, an Avon um, decanter. It is a bulldog. And it looks like a pipe. Hi, Pet Doodles. <laughs> um, I just think it's really, really cool. Look at that. <laughs> um, it does say Avon. It probably held some kind of aftershave, you know, I would think. But there's the Avon logo on the bottom. And I just think he is the coolest thing. Yeah, he's really, really cool. And he is like six and a quarter inches tall. He's $12 and he is number 45. $12, number 45. <laughs> yeah, he's neat. He is very neat. Okay, Ronnie, have you um have you uh registered? I have your info. Okay. All right. I can't remember everyone. I try. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Okay, so Ronnie D. All right. Thank you very much, Ronnie. All right. Um next I have this awesome Vintage camera. Uh, I just think this is the coolest thing. I absolutely love it. So, um, this is your thing where you take the picture and it opens. You slide these metal things to open it. If I can get it to open. Why isn't it opening now? Okay, well, just take my word for it. It does open. I just really can't do it with my shoulder, guys. So, it's just like, I have, I've, I found two of them. I bought two of them. And I kept one, and I have the one I bought in my living room as a decor piece. It is just so stinking cool. Uh, so this is going to be $14, and it's number 23. $14, number 23. Really? Really? Yeah, it's really a cool piece. I love it. Oh, do you, Lynn? <laughs> All right. So I see Lori Wardley for number 23. Lori. Thank you, Lori. The real Lori Wortley. <laughs> Thank you, love. Hello, Matthew Burns. Whew, I got to take a, just take a second, guys. All right. Um, let's see. It's time for an offer up. So, what I'm going to do, no, I won't. 
I won't. I'm trying to behave myself, which is very difficult for me. Um, I don't like sitting idle for long and, you know, I, I'm just, I always push myself, which probably is not a good thing, but, you know, I can't help it. Okay, all right, that, that'll work, Peterson. I will show the item first and, and give the specifics on the item, and then I will um, do the rest. Okay, so the next item that is up for an offer up is this absolutely stunning, I want to say it's Murano, but there is no sticker, so I really don't know for certain. But look at this vase. As you can see, it's flat on both sides and extremely polished and shiny. Okay? And the bottom is exactly the same. It is beautifully, look at the shine on that bottom. Now that is a true Murano looking piece. Uh, and I will tell you how tall it is. It is eight inches tall. So, Alexa, Set a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. By the way, I can send a notification to your phone if you don't hear your timer right away. Would you like me to do that? No. Okay. If you change your mind, you can enable this in timer settings in the Alexa app. The starting price is $20. So, Miss Pamela, you're feeling better, my friend? I know, right, Pat? Why does she have to do that now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous piece. No chips, no cracks. It's just beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at Jackie. Jackie's at 40 bucks. <laughs> oh, good, Pamela. Tammy Christopherson. <laughs> Time's up. Alexa, stop. All right. Who do we have for our winner? Tammy Christopherson. Congratulations, Tammy. All right. Tammy Christofferson. That's number 50, Tammy. Congratulations. Beautiful piece. Ah. Oh. Okay, Peterson. 
She had to run from the restroom. <laughs> Tammy, I thought you said you were going to wear Depends during my sale. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, these dang stitches are itching. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to do <laughs> this. Let me do these first. I have a beautiful set of pink depression glass candle holders these are a beautiful deep pink color um they're in excellent condition no cracks no chips really really uh very very pretty set don't touch the stitches i can't help it I can't help it. <laughs> uh, so the set of these, I'm telling you, Peterson, um, these are going to be $14 for the pair, and they are number 40, no, number 18. They are number 18. <laughs> <laughs> the dog cone. The dreaded dog cone. I still have um, Binx's <laughs> from when he had his surgery. <laughs> oh, Jackie. You got him, Jackie. Congratulations, girl. <laughs> Jackie. Crafty Jackie at that. All right. Okay, well, in keeping with the pink depression glass, you, she's going to bring me mittens. <laughs> um, I have this beautiful pink depression glass toothpick holder. It is just gorgeous. No chips at all on this one. It's gorgeous. It is two and a half inches tall and like two inches in diameter. It's $8, number five. $8, number And I see Elderly Poodle for number five. Am I correct? All right, I am correct. All right, Poodle. There you go, girl. All right. Next, I have a set of, I don't know if they're crystal or glass. I mean, like, because there's no sticker on them. Hey, kitschy cat. <laughs> I have a pair of these little crystal mice. Blown glass, I'm assuming. Look how cute they are. They're little tails. The bottoms are a frosted glass. Okay, Virginia. Uh, but they're just adorable. I wish I could show you both of them, but I can't. So you will get the pair of these for $16. And they're number six. $16 for the pair, number six. For the little mousies. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Gina Marie. <laughs> Look how cute they are. They're adorable. 
<laughs> All right. No takers on the little mice. Oh, I see Pamela Hammett. I got you, Pamela, for number six. Thank you, hon. Yeah, they're adorable. I love them. <laughs> um, okay, Th this is an adorable little set, okay? First, let me show you this guy. I have them posed on here in perfect condition. All right, so we have this little bear... And he is sitting on a piece of, um, you know, it's supposed to look like a piece of wood with his little um, honey hive, okay? His beehive, excuse me. <laughs> and then we have this little guy who's just kind of walking around and hanging out. And then we got his other little brother who also is sitting and hanging out on the little hunk of wood there, wood slice. So you will get the whole set. These are Bone China uh, by... Bridge by Bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E, Japan. So there's the little sticker on the bottom of this guy. So you will get the, the set of three bears, the two little pieces of wood that they're sitting on, and the little beehive, okay? Um, and, of course, I put the price sticker on... So for the whole set, it's $12, number three. $12, number three for the, the set of little bears. They are so stinking cute. And I believe it's uh, Terry. Am I right? Terry Candelero. All right, we got you, Terry. Thanks, Terry. All right, next up is this beautiful uh, Blue Jay figurine. This is uh, Andrea by Sadek. Gorgeous. Look at this blue jay. It is bisque. And it was done really, really well. There's the bottom. And he is. Uh, he's three and three quarter inches tall. He's going to be twelve dollars at number twenty seven. Twelve dollars number twenty seven for the beautiful cardinal. Hello, less than $10, Elizabeth De La Rosa for the beautiful um, bird figurine. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. It's a beautiful uh, figurine. 
Do you? Yeah, me too. I really do. I have a um a bird bath um right outside my kitchen window and I could just stand there all day and watch them play in there and take a bath and I mean they have a riot in that thing. I love it. Okay. Next, I have a set of um, Pimpernel coasters. Um, and they are six coasters. No, these are not Pimpernel. I thought they were. But they're not. They're just regular coasters. And they are all in the floral pattern with the cork back. They're all in excellent condition. Yeah, they're all different. All each one of them is different. Has a different floral on it. This is the last one. These are really really nice coasters. They're in fantastic condition. Um they're called the Butchert Gardens. This is the box that they came in, the original box. These are $12, number 28. $12, number 28. Oh, I think I see book. Okay, got you, Book Bewitched. I um, Book, I don't know if you've ever bought from me before. Could you just make sure you send me your info? I can't remember if you did or not. All right. Okay, it is time for another beautiful brooch. This is, I believe, uh, this is a Bow Jewels brooch. Um, it's not marked, but um, from what I, from the research that I've done, hi Effie, and what one of my subscriber friends has told me, this is um, a Bow Jewels brooch. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I mean, would you just look at that? Oh, my goodness. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Here, we'll put it on my... <laughs> Yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Julia. How are you feeling? Yes, it does. It sparkles like crazy. It is gorgeous. This is the back. It is just amazingly beautiful. This brooch is $20, and it's number 51. Hi, Barbara and Bundo. $20, number 51. Yeah, it is absolutely... Oh, look at Barbara just came in, <laughs> and she bought a brooch. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> All right, number 51 goes to Barbara and Bundo. Thank 
Thank you very much, Barbara. All right. Okay, um, next I have a piece of Fenton for you all. Um, it is a hand-painted piece, and it is signed on the bottom. There is the signature. And it is this really pretty, um, it's a cream color, I guess. I don't believe it glows. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't glow. No glow. No glow, but it is really a beautiful, beautiful piece. Consider cardinals. I have a I have a cardinal planter, Pat. I have a cardinal planter, Pat. Um, but anyways, this is the back side. No cracks, no chips. Um, I don't know what this line is that's going all along. I don't know. Is that a crack? I can't tell. Y'all, y'all, hey, Katie, y'all can see that line going along there. See that? But it doesn't sound like it's cracked. At all. So I don't know if there is a manufacturing flaw. I don't know. But I do not believe it's a crack. Um, I have no idea. That's really weird. I just noticed that. And I don't feel it on the inside either. So um, so I don't believe it's, it's a crack. I think it's a, a manufacturing flaw. Um, but this beautiful Fenton piece is going to be $16, and it's number 26. $16, number 26. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. But it is still a beautiful piece. Oh, I didn't even give you guys the measurements. It's five inches in diameter and three and three quarter inches tall. Yeah, it is a, it's a very creamy color for sure. All righty, let me see. How about a hen on a nest? I believe this is a Westmoreland hen on a nest. It is in perfect condition. There's no cracks, no chips. I'll show you the inside. Um, there's no markings on it, but I'm pretty sure it's Westmoreland. I got a hair stuck on there. Um, oh, Indiana glass? Okay. Um, no, I didn't, Effie. Okay, this is for, uh, $15. Number 42. $15. Number 42 for the hen on nest. All right, I'm going to start sliding these over here. Um, I haven't looked in my emails uh, since before the sale, Effie, but I will be sure and check them after the sale. All right. 
Okay. Uh, Barb JM for 42. Okay, I got you, Miss Barb. Thank you much. Um... Okay, uh, next up I have this awesome blue glass elephant. Now, I'm not sure what these were used for uh, because they are hollow and they are square on the bottom. So they might have sat on something. There were several of these at the estate sale that I went to. Um, but I bought the blue one. Candy? Oh, held candy. Oh, maybe. Okay. That could be. That could very well be. Maybe they did um, hold candy. Okay. All right. Well, so this guy, um... It, the color is called Alice Blue. The person wrote it on a sticker on the inside. Alice Blue. And it says Janet. I'm going to take that off of there. Um, but there is a, a diamond on the side there with a B in it. So, I don't know. But anyways, this is going to be $16. No cracks, no chips. Let me just give you the measurements really quick. It is um, four inches long and three and three quarter inches tall. Um, it could be buoyed. But I don't know if you can see that. The, there's the diamond and then there's a B on the inside. So this is $16 and it's number four. $16, number four. That's a Boyd mark? Okay. All right. That was popular. <laughs> Barb JM for number four. All right, Barb. Thank you so much. All right. She said, yippee. <laughs> Okay, next I have a pair of lovely little ladies. I call these my lovely little lace ladies. Um, I'm just trying to fix this. I don't know how this was on here, but... All right. Well, she lost her little, um, her little doohickey. <laughs> But we have this little lady. She's made in Japan. And she's got all of her little fingers, her little flowers on her dress. I believe she had a flower or something on her head, which is now gone. Um, but this is supposed to go on her somehow. Probably was on top of her head or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you get her and this lovely lady. She has the, the stiffened um, lace. She has all of her fingers. She has little ringlets in her hair. And she is, is she Japan? I'm sure she's made in, in Japan, but she's not marked. 
And she does have a split on the bottom. But you will get both of these lovely little ladies for $16 for the pair. Or no, $14, I'm sorry, $14, but they're number 16. $14 for the pair, number 16. <laughs> See if I could get that correct. Fix this little thing for her head. Doesn't want to stay on there, but whatever. All right. Let me put these two little ladies over here. Those are two pretty old ladies there. Diane Carter, number 16. Okay, thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. All right, I feel like I'm missing all kinds of stuff in the chat. Hi, Uncle Andy. All right, next I have, take a minute and chat. Okay, do I have towels? I do have towels, but they're like bath towels, like, um, hand towels. I don't have um, um, any other towels. Well, I do, but they're not in the sale. <laughs> I'm feeling really good, Andrea. I really am. I'm like totally surprised at how good I feel. Hey, Tink. <laughs> I am. I am. I just wish I could take better care of myself. You know, put makeup on. No miniature houses, no. I don't have any of those. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Olympics are on. I want to watch the gymnastics. My Aunt Dana is going to help. Um, she's going to help me pack all my orders. I'm not taking any painkillers. I haven't taken a painkiller in probably four days, five days. <laughs> There's a trick to it. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Get out of here, poodle. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. <laughs> I'll probably go um, relax. Oh, hi, Jane. Yes, I did wear um, dresses a couple times. Um, I try to wear baggy, like baggy stuff that's easy to get in and out of. Um, so what I have to do is I roll the shirt all the way up and I have to put the bad arm in first, right? And pull it all the way up. Then jam my head in like that and then put the other arm in. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so I'll probably, after the sale, I'll probably just have something to eat and go chill and watch Pamela's sale at 8 o'clock. Oh, Vinny's got a sale tonight too, guys. I think at 6.30 or quarter to 7.00. Um, as well, guys. So don't forget about Vinny. Me too, Virginia. Gymnastics is my jam. Do you know when I was little, remember when Nadia Comaneci got all the perfect tens in the 1976 Olympics? I was just uh, infatuated with Nadia Comaneci. And I actually had a balance beam that my dad brought home from work. He worked for the school system. 
and he brought me home a balance beam and I used to set it up out on my front lawn and try to do stuff on the balance beam. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. But anyways, <laughs> okay, next up I have this beautiful purple crackle vase. <laughs> Thanks, Kitchy Cat. <laughs> um, no, heck no. I can't even stand, let alone try to walk on a balance beam. <laughs> um, this is beautiful, and it's in excellent condition. Yeah, she married, um, what's his face? Um, she married the Bart Connor. She married Bart Connor, the man, the man, the the guy gymnast. Yeah. Yep. I loved her to death. Yep, Bart, Bart Connors. Um, anyways, this vase is oh four and a half inches tall. It has an applied handle. It's twelve dollars, number thirteen. $12, number 13. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tink? <clears throat> I see Irene Fink. Okay, Irene for number 13. Thank you, Irene. Oh, yeah, we used to, me and my friends at lunchtime at school, we'd be out on the playground doing flips, round-offs, cartwheels, you know. You know how girls were back then. Yep, it was pretty funny, I gotta say. All right, moving along here. I'm gonna bring all the rest of this. I'm gonna do an offer up, everyone. Okay, so this next offer up is going to start at $25, okay? Um, this was something that was sent to me by one of my subscriber friends. And, um, you know, she, t she found out who made it, and I can't remember now. I want to say it's Lefton, but I'm not positive. And it is a three-piece canister set. So let me show you. I have to bring it over here. All right. So this is the flower. These are all in excellent condition. There are no chips, no cracks that I am aware of, no crazing. So we have the flower. I'll show you the lid. The lids are actually gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I did notice a little chip right on the edge there. See that little chip there? So that's the flower. And it has a rose on the other side as well. So that's the back side. And this is the front side. This is the sugar. All the lids are the same. They all look the same. They have the same beautiful uh, pattern on there. And then this is the coffee. Now, there is not one for tea. It's just the three, okay? 
And like I said, they are in fantastic condition. So I'm just going to give you the measurements and then we will start doing the offers. So the, uh, the coffee one, and, and all the measurements are including the, the lid. The coffee is six and a half inches tall. Uh, the sugar is seven and a quarter inches tall. And the flour is eight and a quarter inches tall. We have five and a quarter in diameter for the flour. We have four and three quarters diameter for the sugar and four inches in diameter for the coffee. And as I said, Alexa, start a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, you can start now, guys. We're starting at $20 for the set. They're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. These are just stunning. I can remember when I opened these, I was like, oh my God. They're just so beautiful. Just beautiful. Let me show you close up. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, so let me put these over here so they're out of my way. And then once the timer goes off, then we can see who get them. Who get them? Who be getting them? <laughs> okay, stop. Alexa, stop. All right, who do we have? Jeffrey Ross, holy crap. They are gorgeous, Jeffrey. They are gorgeous. All right. Okay, so Jeffrey Ross gets those. And I'm trying to see where what one I put the number on. Uh, which one? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, Jeffrey, these are number one, just for your information. Those were number one. All right, Jeffrey Ross. All right, thank you so much, Jeffrey. All right. Okay, I have an absolutely... Hi, Warren, how are you? I have an absolutely stunning vase. This is, um, it's kind of like a Jack in the Pulpit vase. Look at this amazing vase. Isn't this stunning? Look at that. Opalescent and purple. Oh, it is just gorgeous. Hand blown. You can see the Ponto mark on the bottom there. It is just absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, this vase is six and a quarter inches tall. Uh, it is $16, number 25. $16, number 25. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Hi, Tina. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> Lori at Blue Flamingo for number 25. You get this gorgeous vase. Goodbye, Lori, because this is stunning. You should see it in person. All right. Thank you, Lori. Okay. Next, I have a set of beautiful white alabaster candle holders. Oh, awesome, Tink. Awesome. Uh, these are just beautiful. They're in excellent condition. No cracks, no chips. They are so, so pretty. I should have brought a candle over to put in them so you could see how pretty they are when they're lit up. But I did not. But I can tell you that they are four inches tall. And they are like three and a half inches wide. You could do whatever you want with them, Miss Dana. <laughs> they are gorgeous. So they're going to be $14 for the pair, number nine. $14 for the pair, number nine. They're gorgeous. You know, these would look beautiful with red fairy lights in them at Christmas. Ooh, hoo, hoo. absolutely. All right. Okay, next up, I have a beautiful Wexford um, milk pitcher. This is so pretty. I don't, I can't, I don't know why I love this pattern so much. Hi, Blind by Beauty. Henry, who is Henry? Somebody new? Hello, Henry, and hello, Alina. Alina, what a pretty name that is. Thank you so much for joining today. One of your baby birds. Aw, Michelle, I'm sorry. Aw. Um, I know that. Do you know what? I had a bird that must have, she must have laid a nest in my gutter. And I found two dead babies. One on the sidewalk by my back door, and one was laying on my uh, my Rubbermaid bin that I had put my packages in. Aw, I'm like, you know, it, that's so sad, you know? Anyways, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture, and it is... Just exactly perfect for milk at the breakfast table. Um, it is uh, five and a half inches tall and about three and three quarter inches in diameter. Yep, orange juice. 
Margaritas? That's awful small for margaritas, Virginia. Come on now. We would need like a twice as large pitcher for margaritas. <laughs> um, but it is just gorgeous. This is $12, number 17. No cracks, no chips. $12, number 17. That's too small for sangria. Robbie! <laughs> she jumped in. You got it, Robbie. I was wondering if you were here. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I thought was thinking of you. All right. She's the uh, she's my girl that likes the Wexford. Congratulations there, Robbie. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do, oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. I'm going to do my last two brooches, okay, guys? This is a stunner. This is a stunner. Um, it is not marked, so I don't know who makes it. Look at this brooch, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> yes. I know, Jana. I'm my best, my best um, critic. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> um, this brooch is, it is three inches long. Three inches long. And it is about two inches at two inches at the widest part. This is absolutely stunning. Um, this brooch is $30, number 49. $30, number 49. Andrea, Andrea Kane, you got it. Thank you so much. All right, Andrea. All right. My last brooch, I believe, is another Bo Jewels one. Um, is that a marking? Let me see. No. I thought maybe it was a marking, but it is not. Uh, it, this is gorgeous. Look at this one, you guys. Another beauty. Um, this one is two and a half inches long and one and a half inches wide. This is the back. Okay. This one is $25, number 48. $25, number 48. Uh oh, Katie. Katie! <laughs> Yay, Katie! She gets it! Congrats, Katie! Yay! 
Yay! All right. Okay, Miss Katie. Thank you so much, Katie. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It absolutely is. Yes, ma'am. All right. It is offer up time, everyone. Uh, this next item is going to be starting at $12. And it's a planter slash vase. And um, it's pretty cool, I have to say. So I will give you the specifics on this and then we will start a timer, okay? This is Little Boy Blue. Come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. <laughs> That's about all I remember. <laughs> um, it is made. It's bone china. And what does this say? Hold on a second. Something Radner. Something Radner. I cannot read that. Um, what's happening with my friend Jane? Jane, what's going on, my girl? Okay, this planter is five inches tall. And it is five and a half inches long. Alexa, start a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, you guys can start. Offers are starting at $12 for this little boy blue. Starting at $12. Oh, Jane's back. That's it. Where is the little boy that looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack fast asleep. Yep. Yipper. Yeah, this is an old one, I have to say. Look at his little face. He's just sleeping away. He doesn't have a care in the world. Tuesday at 6 a.m. Really, Jane? Oh, my goodness. I will definitely keep you in my prayers, my friend. I know back surgery sucks. Yeah, he's got his bullhorn. <laughs> Oh, man, Jane. Okay, Alexa, stop. Okay, stop. Okay, who do we have for this adorable little planter? I think it was Terry, but I'm not positive. My nose is itching. My nose is running. Oh. Terry Candelero for $12. Okay, Terry. Oh. 
Uh, that was number 35, Terry. All right, Terry. All right. Okay. Um, next I have this adorable little blown glass turtle. Now, um, he is in excellent condition for those of you that love turtles. He is in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. Um, he's nice and shiny on the bottom. Smooth and shiny. Um, I can actually show you. I'll just take the sticker off. Look at look at how nice and smooth and shiny. Look at that. It's like glass. Well, it is glass. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this little guy is twelve dollars number fourteen. Twelve dollars number fourteen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? He does have a tiny little chip, I think, on his back foot. Just a teeny weeny little flea bite. Yeah, right on his back foot. <laughs> um, Christine K for number 14. All right, got you, Christine. Uh, number 14. Thank you. All right. Uh, next I have, um, this beautiful, I don't really, I'm not really sure. My guess is that it is an open sugar bowl, um, without the creamer. I don't have a creamer that goes with it, but it is just beautiful. It is, um, like a celadon green. It's just gorgeous. Very pretty top. Look at the detailing. Isn't that beautiful? There's no markings on the bottom. But it is just gorgeous. Um, it is five inches long. Uh, two and a quarter inches tall. Actually, two and three-quarter inches tall, pardon me, and three inches wide. It's $12, number 31. $12, number 31. Oh, could be Uncle Andy. Oh, Lynn Fogel. She loves the roses. Number 31 goes to Lynn Fogel. Thank you, Lynn. I forgot. All right. Um, next I have this gorgeous... Um, I'm not sure if this is a candle holder or if it is used to hold, because it's a hand, right? Or if it's used for like Q-tips, cotton balls, um, makeup brushes. You know, you could really put anything in it that you want. It's really in fantastic condition. Um, there's a little tiny... A little tiny chip right there. But other than that, it's in great condition. It's just got that one little tiny chip on the on the top there. Um, and it is 
four and a half inches tall and the cup is like almost two and a quarter inches in diameter, this part. Um, this is $12, number 22. $12, number 22. I just think that is so cool. All right. Oh, my God. These. Oh, Jeffrey. I was going to say, if nobody bought it, I was going to keep it. <laughs> Ow. Oh, just itching. Jeffrey Ross, number 22. All right. All right. Let me set this over here. Okay. Um, I have next up is this beautiful clear blown glass bird. No cracks, no chips. It's in excellent condition. The bottom is very smooth. Uh, this little birdie is, I will tell you how long it is. It's four inches long. And it is two and four. Three quarter inches tall. And you can see it's got like its little wings here on the side, little sticking out there. Uh, this little bird is $20, number 40. $20, number 40. <laughs> Tink. <laughs> You're a trip. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do an offer up, everyone. So, um, this offer up is going to start at $15. It is a bell, and OMG. This was sent to me by Tammy. Oh, as was the, um, the purple crackle vase that I sold earlier. Yes, and it does glow. Let me get my flashlight. <laughs> it's hard to show you guys when I can't really raise my arm up, but it does glow. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. So, Alexa... Start a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. By the way, if you want to change your timer, try asking me. Change timer to five minutes. All right, so we're starting this at $15. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me just say how beautiful this is. Um... And it measures five and three quarter inches tall. It is made by Imperial Glass. There is a sticker on the inside. And it is from 
the Bronx, New York. Let me show you the sticker. There it is, Imperial Glass. And then there's the other sticker that says Bronx. I believe that's what it says. Yes, Bronx, New York. So this is a gorgeous piece. All right, put the sticker back in there. The Bronx. Okay, stop everyone. Alexa, stop. All right. Late again to the party, Judy Reardon. Sold to Gigi for $40. Congratulations, Gigi. Uh, Gigi, that is number 29. Congratulations. For $40. All right. That is a beautiful piece right there, let me tell you. Just gorgeous. Forty doll hairs. Hi Pamela Avery. Um okay. I have this little beauty. She is look. <laughs> She is a little belle. She, look at that face. She is so cute. She's picking up her little petticoat there. She's in perfect condition. There's no chips, no cracks. Um, I don't know who makes her though, because there's no markings on her. Um, but she is about four and three quarter inches tall. <laughs> she is twelve dollars, number thirty three. Twelve dollars, number thirty three. She is so cute. Look at that face. O M G. Cindy Neal, I believe, for number 33. Yep, Cindy Neal, number 33. Thank you, Cindy. And thank you so much for the Get Well card. All right. Um, next we have this guy, this is like awesome. Look at this guy. We have a little oil lamp. Uh, this is Redware. And um, I don't know where it's made because it's not marked. But it is Redware, as you can see by the bottom there. And... I think he's had a few too many cocktails and he's just kind of like leaning up against the lamppost so he doesn't fall on his behind. No cracks, no chips at all. It's in excellent condition. It is seven and a half inches tall and it's three inches long. And this is $14, number 20. $14, number 20. Hey, where'd you come from there, Randy? Mr. L. Page popped in. 
All right, I got you for that, Randy. Number 20. Thank you so much. All right, next up, I have a set of Fire King bowls. I have three of the uh, olive green and lime green color. This one has a little more of the darker green than the other two. These are in fantastic condition, okay? And then I have one in orange. But they are, they are in fantastic condition. So you get the set of four of these for $12. Number 24. $12, number 24. Elizabeth De La Rosa is who I see, but I'm going to wait for Peterson to let me know. Those were popular. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth De La Rosa. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, uh, let's see. I have um, two very, very pretty little like trinket bowls. Now, um, they might have been used as berry bowls back in the day, but I have this one, it is not marked. I would just use these for decorative purposes. They're just so, so pretty. But they're like the size of a berry bowl, but you could use it for a little trinket dish, you know, in your bathroom or um, in your bedroom. You could put change in it. You could put little soaps in it in the bathroom. Um, it is, it's only, let's see. It's five and a quarter inches in diameter, and it's uh, an inch and a quarter tall. It's $8, number 38. $8, number 38. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? M&M's, there you go, M&M's. I just thought it was so pretty. It would look nice anywhere, actually. The other one that I have, this is an RS Germany um, dish. And I will show you the mark on the bottom. I just got to take the price tag off. RS Germany. And this is, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Look at that. You could see it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's hand painted, but I'm not positive. I mean, it's, it's really hard to tell because I am not an expert. But this one is $10, number 37. $10, number 37. James Hooker. I got you, James. That is a beautiful piece, James. You're going to really love that. All right. Um... One, two, I have three offer ups left. So I'm going to do an offer up. Um, this offer up is going to start at $15.
And I'm gonna give you all the specifics before we start. It is five inches tall and four and a half inches long. And this is what you are going to be offering. Alexa, start a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, offers are starting at $15. It is in excellent condition. There are no cracks, no chips. It's gorgeous. I'll show you the bottom. This is the bottom. So it's just a pair of beautiful lovebirds. And they almost look like they're on a, a wave of water or something. But they're just beautiful. And like, I can't believe there's no chips or anything. But they're in excellent condition. So, there you have those. I love these. I think they're so pretty. Can you imagine these in a window with the sun shining through? Oh, man. Aren't they pretty, Cindy? They're gorgeous. I love them. Beautiful piece. High offer is at $21. Stop. Alexa, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Cheryl Hoskins. It looks to me like I see Cheryl Hoskins. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me refresh. I see Cheryl Hoskins for $22. She came in right above the sold. Here, I'm going to refresh. Am I correct? Okay. All right. Congratulations, Cheryl. And that was number 11. $22. All right. Uh, number 11. Hi, Julie. 22 doll hairs. All right. All right. Next up, I have a beautiful um, imperial glass, slag glass, open sugar bowl, I think is what it is. Does this not remind you of like caramel and vanilla ice cream? <laughs> Look at this. Holy cow. I don't think it glows, though. I don't think it glows. But it's just beautiful. Look at that. Um, let me take the sticker out so I can show you the inside. Look at. And here is the Imperial glass on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. You might be able to see it better this way. No. <laughs> but anyways, it is on there. Imperial glass. It is just beautiful. No cracks, no chips. This is $12, number 19. $12, number 19. 
Uh oh. I see. I see. Cam. Thank you, Cam. Thank you so much. All right. Next up, I have a beautiful teapot. Um, look at this, you guys. This is just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. It's got the gold handle and the gold uh, handle on the lid. There's the lid. It's glazed on the inside. I have no idea who makes this. Somebody wrote on the bottom TW22255. On the bottom. So this is an older piece for sure. 1955, I guess. Uh, there's really no paint loss on the gold. I can't even believe it. So um, this teapot measures nine inches long and uh, three and three quarter inches tall. So nine inches long by three and three quarter inches tall. Um, I would say two cup, definitely two cups. It's gorgeous. Um, it's fourteen dollars, number thirty six. Fourteen dollars, number thirty six. Effie Boyd! That's what I see, but let's wait for Miss Peterson. Yes, Peterson is definitely the emoji queen. <laughs> Effie Boyd, you got it. Number 36. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, I have this fun little piece. This is really fun. Um, he kind of reminds me of a, I mean, I know Dumbo was a cartoon, but he reminds me of a more cartoonish Dumbo figurine. <laughs> like he would be like in a circus maybe. He's really, really cool. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to get at, Peterson. Um, like the Steamboat Willie uh, type cartoons, you know? Um, this guy, he's really cool. He only has a number on the bottom. So, I don't know. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, there you go, Cindy. Yeah, he's really, really cool. Um, he is, let's see. He's like five and a half inches long. And five inches tall. He's really cool. Um... He is $12, and he's number 32. $12, number 32. Horton, here's a who. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's pretty neat, I think. All right. Who do we have, Peterson? Elizabeth, you got it, Elizabeth. Thank you.
All right. I have another offer up, everyone. He makes you smile. Yeah, he's really cool looking. Absolutely. He's definitely different. Um, this next offer up is going to start at $20. Um, I will give measurements after. Alexa, start a timer for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. $20 is the starting price for these bluebirds of happiness. These are big compared to what you normally find. It is signed by Leo Ward, 1990, and it still has part of its sticker on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. I should, let me turn this other light on. I forgot to turn my other light on today. Okay. Maybe you'll be able to see the signature on the bottom. Anyways, um, this is this is a big one. This measures um, five inches long by almost three inches tall. So if you measure it to my hand, I mean, that's big. Alexa, stop. Yeah, this is really a big one. Okay, Cindy's thrifting again for $20. You got a deal and a half on that, Cindy, because it's a big one. Congratulations. That one is number 30. Congratulations. All right. My last regular priced item is this gorgeous alabaster art glass bowl. Just beautiful. So the people that owned it put a piece of uh, cream colored felt on the bottom so that it wouldn't scratch the table. Um, if you wanted to, you could leave it on there or take it off. But it is beautiful. Um, it's good size. It's like, I think it's a candy dish. And this is going to be kind of hard to measure. So we're just going to kind of wing it. We're going to say it's eight by seven, eight by seven. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? So this piece is $16, number 41. $16, number 41, no cracks, no chips, perfect condition. All right. Elizabeth. Am I correct? 
Okay, Elizabeth De La Rosa, number 41. Hey, Angel Gale, how you doing? Okay, Cindy. All right, so my last regular item is an offer up. And this was sent to me um, by my friend, Tammy Christofferson. And this is one of the most amazing pieces that I have ever seen. Um, although I did sell one of these um, before. Um, this is Imperial Glass. Um, let me see. I don't know. I can't tell if it glows or not. Um, but anyways, this is the piece that we're going to be doing. It is a gorgeous sl purple slag glass owl jar. This is going to start at $25, and it is 7 inches tall. Alexa, start a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. 1 minute and 30 seconds, starting now. All right. So I can try to see if this glows. Let me see, guys. All right. Uh, there are no cracks. There are no chips. You can see the imperial glass on the bottom. Um, it's in excellent condition. Like I said, no chips, no cracks. It is just beautiful. Uh-oh, there comes Lori Wortley. <laughs> the sniper. Um, it was sent to me, Cindy, by um by my friend, uh, Tammy Christofferson. Uh-oh, time's running. Time's running. Lori's at 65. She said, I am not playing. Okay, stop. Alexa, stop. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh I see Jeffrey. Jeffrey Ross. Yes, Jeffrey Ross for number for $75. Jeffrey, that is number 46. Congratulations, Jeffrey. All right, so um, I'm just going to go over the few things that did not sell really quickly. Um, okay, so I had this beautiful hand-blown glass bird. I was asking $20. Um, I will drop down to $15 if anyone is interested. This is number 40. Number 40 for $15. I will. Okay, Elizabeth De La Rosa for number 40. All right. So we went down to $15 on that. 
And that's De La Rosa. All right. Next is this uh, beautiful Fenton hand-painted bowl. No cracks, no chips. It's just got like a manufacturing defect going around. Um, I was asking 16 for this, but I will ask 14. Uh, $14, number 26. For the Fenton Bowl, $14, number 26. Effie Boyd! Effie, you got it. $14. Effie. All right, there we go. Next is this beautiful... Uh, flashed on cranberry um, etched floral design vase. It's a cute little bud vase. Very, very pretty. This is going to be $8, number 34. $8, number 34. Warren Hart. For that one, thank you, Warren. All right. Eight dollars. All righty. Next, I had this vintage uh, blue ink bottle. There's the lid. It's in excellent condition. Um, I was asking $9, but I will go down to $7 if anyone is interested. And that is number 15. $7, number 15. Um... Oh, Jeffrey Ross, $7, number 15. All right, got you, Jeffrey. Um, next are these beautiful um, Gorham Slovenia lead crystal candle holders. This one's got a little wax in it. I have to, I have to get it out. But um, there's no cracks, no chips. They're gorgeous. Uh, these I was asking. Um, I don't know what happened to the sticker. What the heck? <laughs> uh, where are they? Uh. Oh, um, I was asking $12 for those, and those are number 53, $12, number 53 for the beautiful crystal candle holders. If any, um, oh, there's Cam, okay. You got them, Cam. Thank you. All right, next I had this beautiful set. Um, these are made by Hazel Atlas. It is this set of uh, oil and vinegar cruets with the pretty gay fad uh, painting of fruit on there. These are beautiful. Um, these I was asking, where's my sticker? $14, number 43 for the pair. $14, number 43 for the pair. Uh, 
I am Warren Hart, number 43. I got you, Warren. Thank you. Okay, next were these beautiful white alabaster uh, candle holders. I just love the design. I think they're so cool. They're beautiful. No cracks, no chips. These would be gorgeous with a candle in them. I should have brought a candle. Um, these I was asking $14 for for the pair. I will go down to $12 for these. Um, number nine. $12, number nine. Thank you, Deb. Elizabeth De La Rosa for number nine for $12. Okay. And the last item was this pretty little bowl. Just a really pretty little trinket dish. You could use it for anything, really. Uh, it's just pretty. $8, number 38. $8, number 38. Holly Berry, when your internet starts running really slow, and I'm just letting you know this for next time, um, first, make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. Also, if you go out, totally out of YouTube and go back into the sale, sometimes that will help as well, uh, just for future. But um, anyways, that's it, guys. Well, at least I'm done before, you know, 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, thanks, Pamela. Yep, I'm going to go have a rest. <laughs> um, oh, Crafty Jackie, she wants number 38. Okay, Jackie, I got you, girl. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, well, I should be sending invoices out starting tomorrow. Um, my aunt's coming over at around 11 to help me start packing orders. So, um, as they're, as they're being packed, I'm going to jump on the computer and send invoices. So I hope, hopefully all the invoices will be out by tomorrow night um, and don't forget about my sale on Tuesday. It's an all-coffee mug sale on Tuesday at 4 o'clock Eastern. Thanks for popping in, Pat Doodles. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all this stuff away, and I'm going to have something to eat and just hang out until Vinny and Pamela's sale. So Vinny, Vintage Vinny has a sale at 6.45 tonight, and Pamela Blanchard has a sale at 8 o'clock as well. So hopefully I'll see all of you at those two sales as long as I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Bye, Jeffrey. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. You don't think so, Joanne? <laughs> I'm really going to try. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>